Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Did 90 Day Fiance star Mary DiNuccio make a new GoFundM in her daughter, Midnight's name? She previously had a donation page when she claimed she had colon cancer. That was taken down when it was proven to be a lie. So, what is Mary up to now? Read on for more details. Mary DiNuccio alleged that she had colon cancer and needed treatment immediately. More so, the 90 Day Fiance star shared she was the only one who was bringing in an income in her family. Though she had married Brandon DiNuccio, it appeared she was the sole breadwinner. They also have a newborn daughter, Midnight therefore, she wanted to be able to take care of herself and her family. Fans questioned if Mary was scamming people when she set up a system similar to a GoFundMe page. They did not believe she really had cancer, and as it turned out, she didn't. Now, it appears she has set up another page, searching for money, but this time, on Midnight's behalf. A Reddit thread was started, showing off the new GoFundMe, but it is unclear if this is really Mary. The reason for the questions is the page says Mary started it, but it's set in the UK of course. Followers were skeptical if this was Mary DiNuccio for several reasons, and they had no problems expressing them. So what exactly did they have to say? It says she's Mary from 90 Day Finance. This one must be a fake slash scam, I agree. The English is too grammatical correct to be Mary. If you read her Insta posts slash stories and previous GoFundMe scams, she wouldn't have worded the description this way. If it is actually them, maybe Brandon wrote it. This feels like someone is using Mary's name to make a scam. If any couple deserve to be cancelled, it's them. Since being caught, would it be completely out of the realm for the 90-day fiance couple to recruit someone in the UK to help with this page? No but followers are convinced that this is definitely not Mary for very legitimate reasons. They feel it is too grammatically on point, and since her daughter's photo is public, it is easy for anyone to take it and make a GoFundM. However, one Redditor noted this, it's definitely her. Remember all of her fake Facebook profiles where she said she lives in various locations? She's a full-time scammer and has been for a long time. At this point, it is hard to ban her from any of these forums, but hard to weed out someone pretending to be her. Do you believe this is Mary or do you think that the scammer is getting scammed? Let us know in the comments below.